Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbert's Gaming Channel. I'm the Dude and we're about to play The Settlers Rise of an Empire. Now a while back someone said they'd like to see me play a Settlers game and so here we are. I've had this in my uh, Steam library for a while and I haven't played a Settlers game for ages so this is going to be awesome. Right, we've got our name, we're a Lord and we can pick our thing. That looks good to me. Uh, there you go, create a new profile. Now, to get this game to work, if you are having troubles loading up into the Settlers, you will need to download Ubisoft Connect first. It will not run without it. You make a little account on there, and then you can load through that into the game. Okay. Let's get stuck in, guys. This, is, this looks awesome. I mean, Settlers, when I used to play it, was 2D. Um, I think I played Settlers 3 and that was the last one I played. That was the first 3D one. So let's get stuck in. Single player. What, what do we want to play? Um, oh my goodness, maybe we do the campaign? I have not. Will it teach me? Okay, we'll do the campaign. We'll have a look at it, see how many missions there are. Let's go. Welcome to Vestholm, your kingdom. It is a pleasant land filled with dedicated, hard-working settlers. From your castle, you can see their daily lives and help them through the work of your knights, Lord Marcus and Lady Alandra. Your knights are your eyes and hands among your people, and with their help, you may rebuild an empire. Excellent. Sounds good. Oh, hello. Is this us? Your Majesty, I am Lord Marcus. This is Lady Alandra. We thank you for the summons to your throne room. We look forward to serving you, Your Majesty. <laughs> we wish to bring a problem to your attention. Upon hearing my report, you must choose one of us to deal with this matter. It is a simple matter that deals with bandits preying on caravans in our kingdom. You recognize this map. It is of the royal city of Vestholm, our home. We have received reports of bandits ambushing our merchant carts on the trader's route south of here. Lady Alandra and I propose one of us builds a new settlement near the trade route. Here in Western Glade. A strong city near the trader's route will make the merchants more secure and keep the bandits at bay. Send me, your majesty, and I will give these outlaws a good measure of your justice. Okay. Your majesty, while young Marcus does not lack bravery, I think a more experienced hand may be useful in this case. What difference is there in you guys? I have no idea. Do we get a hero? The direct way is always the best. Alright, well, I don't know if I agree with that. But we'll see what happens. We'll go with Marcus for now. And let's get stuck in. He looks like Lord Farquaad from Shrek, man. <laughs> ah, we must build a city near the trader's route. Thus keep bandits at bay and make trading safer. Okay, let's get started. Oh, wow. The settlers. I've taken Ooh. the liberty of preparing for our mission. Press the highlighted button to proceed. This one? The mini map to the right shows an overview of the area. Territory borders are shown using colored lines. You can click on the mini map to move the camera to another position. Oh man, what's happened here? I can go that way, but because I got two screens that keep pushing me off. Ah, I'll use this. All right, all right, we're using the arrow keys. Zoom out using your mouse wheel. Press the middle mouse button to move the camera. I await you at the marketplace of the royal city of Vestholm, east of you. 
Here I am. Very good. Let's proceed. To give me orders, you have to select me first. You can give me movement orders by right-clicking where you want me to move to. Just click. Easy, isn't it? So yeah. now, let us move to Lady Alandra. She is near Vestholm's southern gate. This is, a bit, this is a bit weird. The movement of the camera is a bit janky. Hey, hey, we'll get we'll get used to it. Good day, Marcus. Keep an eye this flash is annoying, isn't it? These bandits are not to be underestimated. You need to establish a new settlement and make this area safe again. These bandits are out of control and have captured several traders in the past few months. There is an old castle we can use as a base. You'll find it if you move to the south along the road, then follow the trail to the west. On our way! Uh. Ah, a knight. Good that his majesty has sent you. The old castle lies west of here. Just follow the trail. On our way! Yeah, thanks. Aye. But of course! But of course! Here we go. But of course. But of course. I. I. But of course. Keep stopping. Select your marketplace with a left mouse button click. This is the marketplace. What this your little bit of water? Here both to celebrate and to show you when they are not happy. Now select the castle. This is our castle where our gold is stored. The amount of gold is shown at the top of the screen next to the city's reputation. Now, select the storehouse. This is our storehouse, where we store gathered resources. You can see them next to the gold display on top of the screen. Is that all we have? The city's reputation is shown at the top of the screen. It's very low now, but as we build up a city, it will rise. On our way! Hi. Open the city information menu at the top. The city information menu shows the amount of settlers, spouses, and soldiers in your city. You can close this menu by clicking open the gold menu. The gold menu shows the monthly taxes and payment of your troops. Open the resource. The resource menu ah. shows all resources in your storehouse. Is that honey? Wood and stone, yeah. which are needed for building, are shown permanently next to the button. You can close this. Let's start building our settlement. Very good. First off, These we should put the is awful. Hut in a good spot. Close to the trees, east of the marketplace, would be a good building place. New settlers Ugh, are out of the sky. Camera is so horrible. The is on his way to create his new building now. You can Let's have a look, see if we can change this a little bit, because this is awful. Put the quality up to high. Let's put the details up. Let's just give me everything. Edge smoothing, shadow quality. Give me all of it. What's this do? Higher settings improve image quality, but require more video memory. Yeah, go on. Go on. And then sound. I would like the speech to be up a little higher because you're very quiet, my friend. I'll put the music up a little bit. There we go. There we go. How's that? Does that move around a little bit better? Keeps stopping me. I don't know. We'll see when it forces us, I guess. Settlers like the woodcutter will get hungry during working. To Ooh. get some food, let's build a hunter's hut near the deer west of your marketplace. Uh, can we stop this flashing? My goodness. Game. Scrolling. Go a bit quicker. Um, there's not much we can really do with that then, is there? I, was, I don't like it. Okay. Is what it is then. We have to try and remember that. 
Right, so you want me to put this over here, do you? Our settlers don't eat raw meat. We have to construct a butcher's shop near the marketplace to produce sausages. Ah, near the Very marketplace, good. that's cool. The basic buildings are in place. The butcher takes an animal carcass out of the storehouse to produce sausages from it. The sausages are stored <coughs> in the shelves in front of his building. Excellent. Hungry settlers go to a food provider like the butcher to get food. If no food is available, they go on strike at the marketplace and the city's reputation decreases. Excellent. As you know, new settlers will arrive when you create a building for them. This is also true when you upgrade an existing building. Select a woodcutter's hut and press the upgrade button over the building. A new settler will come oh, out of the storehouse, the camera is just not upgrade smooth. the building and help working there. Let's follow him until the building has been upgraded. What this man? Okay. Oh, blimey. I mean, this is a cool looking little game, but the camera is just needs work. I mean, I'm pushing and it, one way or another, it just keeps stopping me. It's so awful. And then when it moves you on purpose, like on its own, it's just like so bitty. It's awful. But the graphics upgrade is or putting them on top quality has improved it, but oh my days. I can't go that way because it hasn't got the Gathering buildings can transport their resources faster with a handcart now. In producing buildings, like the butcher's shop, having more people increases the building's effectiveness. We've now set up the basics for sausage. our settlement. But there before we proceed, we have to produce enough food. Open the food menu. The food menu shows the amount of food resource. Build more hunters' huts and butchers' shops and produce sausages. We Move need your more. mouse over a butchers' shop building to see how many sausages are available there. One. Why don't we just upgrade it? Surely that's a good thing, right? Do we need to keep making more? Seems excessive. <laughs> Who's this? Tax collector. He's going around to collect taxes from all our little people. <laughs> Crazy. Is that... 550. Is he going to put that 15 in it yet? Okay, that's really cool. We've got a dog. So if I upgrade this again, it'll go up to maximum level. We ain't got enough wood for that one to upgrade. Upgrade that. Yeah, the graphics are definitely improved by putting them up to maximum. A lot less bitty. Okay. Simple as that. See, last time I played, you had to connect everything with roads, so it's already quite different. But I can still see the uh, our boundaries are there, so um, it's good. <laughs> We're producing sausages. Hang on. Oh, it's come up. Our oh, settlers that was gather wood and produce food. The basics are set. Now we are ready to protect our settlement from the bandits. To do this, huh? the next step is to promote me to sheriff. Okay. Open the night promotion menu by clicking the hut. The night promotion menu shows <laughs> the preconditions needed to promote me to a higher title. You can close this menu by clicking the button again. So what we need more money, more people, and more clothes. Okay. Young Marcus, as you know, reaching the rank of sheriff is an important step to making this region safe. 
Marcus, yeah. I'm sending you some stone. You will need it to upgrade your castle. Thanks. Oh no, there's bandits. No. I bear grim tidings, Marcus. Bandits are blocking the shipment of stone. They stole it. It's up to you. <laughs> Claim land and gather the stone. Heavens, watch over you. To gather stone, we need a stone quarry. There is a stone quarry in the territory of Vestwood Kirk. Please send me there, What's my this? liege. But of course. Around here somewhere. It's probably that. Aye. It showed me over here, but we'll go. We'll go there. It makes more sense to me. There we go. To get access to the stone quarry, we must claim this territory. Please select the outpost button and place an outpost on this territory to claim it. A construction worker will come from the storehouse and construct the outpost. The territory will be ours when the outpost has been created. Oh, I see. The map's broken down into little chunks. So we're claiming a territory rather than just expanding our borders like the old ones. Gotcha. Who's coming? A cart. Of some wood. Okay, to build it. Got ya. I oh, got ya. Good thing we're doing this. I would never have guessed all of this. <laughs> Come on, mate. Mm, gathering all this money. It's wonderful. I suppose the more stuff we get, the more he'll run around to all these businesses and collect taxes from. The outpost has been built, and the territory is ours. Now we can build two stone cutters' huts near the stone quarry to gather stone. We claimed a territory. Two stone cutters' huts. You can rotate buildings before placing them. Oh. Shift. Oh, and then the mouse wheel. We should Sorry, build my a bad. trail to connect the stonecutter's hut to the marketplace. Select the trail button, then click to select the start and destination of the trail to be built. I mean, that's great, but where's the freaking trail button, mate? We've got some new thing. Oh, okay. Kind of cool. It works well. <clears throat> I don't know if this works well. I don't, I'm not very happy with that road. I think it's, it's um, pretty terrible. There we go. Might well speed it up a little bit. On our way! But of course. What's the outpost got in it? Any troops in it? The stonecutters' huts have been built up, and the stonecutters will start to gather stone. Now that you have more settlers, you will also need more food. Because of the bandits, hey. I cannot send the clothes that your settlers will need. Young Marcus, please give the order to build two tanneries to enable the settlers to produce leather clothes themselves. Two tanneries. We need another butcher's and a hunter. Where can I put this hunter? There's some rabbits. Maybe I can hunt them. I'll go with it. See what happens. Very good. Don't forget that we need more food for our new settlers, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I'm on we it. have produced the clothes, we can see about making you Sheriff of Vestholm. <laughs> I got a feeling this is no good. I don't think he's going to get the bunnies. Look, there's deer here, there, and everywhere.
Hmm. You can rotate the camera to look around. I'm not sure Please about this one. And then switch back to the, get the bunnies. camera angle. A hunter can't find any game. Yeah. This was my my fear. Oh, delete just rotates the camera. Brilliant. Um. Ah. How do I delete this? This one. Bang. You want to knock something down? Select the building, wall, or trail you want to be removed. Okay. The settlers will do the job for you. What on earth is going on with the camera, man? You're doing my nut. You mean? We have enough stone now. Select the castle and upgrade it. When you get the order, one. the settlers will come and do the job. Right. Upgrade. Soldiers pay taxes. Yeah, we'll leave that as is. Thanks. Taxes are fine. What's this thing? Oh, it gets rid of him. Hmm, interesting. Lord Farquad. Okay, they're going in to build this. Let's see what this turns out to look like. Taxman's going out again. Ugh. The evil taxman. Here we go. They're building it up. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. The castle looks very nice, Your Majesty. Yes. We're doing well. I'm happy with that. These guys have come out looking all happy. They need food. Have we got enough food? We've got eight. Okay. How's this going? Is this working? I'm going to upgrade this and that as much as I can. Need one more clothing. There we if go. If I may, I will note that I am due recognition for my services to you. Yes, you are. Let me get well to that. Well done, Marcus. The settlers do not need clothes yet. But they will want them when you become Sheriff of Vestholm. I'll go get him. Aye. But of course. Lovely jubbly. Oh, there's two taxmen can now. <laughs> oh, I have dear. served well, my liege. Am I not due a promotion? Again. Yes, you are. Just oh, bear with me, mate. Thank you for granting. Oh, me look at this. Title. The settlers will appreciate it. They throw in a little party. Congratulations on the new title, Marcus Sheriff of Vestholm. Hey, fireworks! Some royal troops have returned from Got patrol, gunpowder, apparently. and I will send them to you. Cool. You give me some troops. Oh, nice one. Whoa! You're giving me loads. Bandits are attacking our settlement. <laughs> Where? These bandits are misguided. They have no chance of success against our forces. Let's go. To the front. Yeah. Fight. Full assault. Everyone get stuck in. No worries. Right, we've got enough the troops here. camps have been destroyed. Now they can no longer harm the settlers or raid the traders. That's the mission done, is it? Oh My wow! Congratulations, Your Majesty. Okay. We oh, look at this. It's this well challenge cool. calmly and effectively. <laughs> of course, you had some help. Yes. Yes, you did. But the question is, why did these carts come all the way from Chalia without guards? Hmm. What is going on over there? Are you finished talking? Okay, I guess it's our job to find out what's happening over in Chalia. But we'll do that on the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next week with Mission 2. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. The dude is out.